And this year, I went to uh, up north in, from the fjords, um, from Bergen, Norway, and I met up with a guy called Polka Bjorn. Polka Bjorn, he's a bass singer, a trained bass singer, and he learned to yodel from my yodeling CD, You Could Too Can Yodel. And he's told me that I was his hero. And so he says, when you come to Norway, you can come stay at my house at my parents' place, and I'll take you fishing in the fjords, and I'll take you over the most beautiful places in the world. And he did that. And while I was there, I, he sang a song for me that I just fell in love with. And it's all about him growing up in Norway and learning how to yodel and wanting to go to the Alps to see the beautiful mountains of Austria and Germany and Switzerland. So he calls this song, From Bergen I Long for Tyrol. That means that he's from Bergen, Norway in that area and then he wants to go to Innsbruck or somewhere like that because he thinks that's more beautiful than his fjords of Norway. Well, that's not true because Norway is beautiful as you guys know. In fact, all the Germans and the Swiss and the Austrians, they go to Norway on vacation. Isn't that right? Yeah, so it's a beautiful country. So this song has about a three and a half octave range. And I'll see if I can pull this off tonight. Fast water slipping on my behind, but Bergen and on Port Tyrol, back in Norway I'm searching my soul. Though those high mountains near Innsbruck are fine, the green fjords of Norway are just like fine wine. But Bergen and on Port They play a lot of juice harp there. <laughs> Folks who have never seen my shows before, I'm going to do something kind of strange. We're, we're going to do what we call the mouth trumpet. Instead of using the old comb and the wax paper trick, I'm going to use the side of my mouth to resonate the notes. And it's supposed to sound like a trumpet. Of course, if it doesn't, it wasn't supposed to anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite artists is a man by the name of Louis Armstrong. Of course, he was known for his trumpet playing, but he also was known for his voice. I don't know when the saints go marching in. So it's pretty hard to play trumpet and accordion at the same time. So I'm going to try and do this on the side of my mouth and kind of make it trumpet sound like Louis Armstrong. Let's see if it works. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Boy, that'll pretty much give your lips a buzz. Very much. All right, how many of you folks are, uh, are lovers of classical music? Yeah, I love classical music. My favorite uh, of all those great classical male singers is uh, Andre Buscelli. You know him? And he does a song that I fell in love with, and uh, everybody does it now, but uh, it was, it's terrific. It's called Time to Say Goodbye, and I just love this song. And I thought, well, if I start playing it with accordion, I'll start putting yodeling to it, and that wouldn't really work. But you know what? I did it anyway. So see if you like this. I haven't sung this for many people yet, so, but this seems like the right audience to try it with tonight. Victoria Palms, yeah, that's that's a classical place. That's a classy place. Here we go. When I'm alone, I see, and when I dream, the words are me.